Hello. Today we are going to take a look at the new generation of power harrow and seed drill combinations offered by Pertinga. We will start with the most important key points and then we'll cover everything in more detail. The new concept delivers great maneuverability at the headland, flexibility thanks to a two-section hopper, convenient operation thanks to good accessibility, durability for the toughest applications and perfect seed placement. On the Aerosem VT5000, which has a working width of 5 meters, we have integrated our existing Lion 103C series. And as you can see, we have a straight drive line from the tractor to the gearbox, regardless of position. The drive line features a wide angle PTO shaft that is designed for 320 HP. For optimum power transmission, the PTO shaft is supported in the middle. Overload protection at 1,700 Newton meters is provided by means of a cam-type clutch in front of both external gearboxes. The rotor beam has four rotors per meter of working width and operates at 342 RPM, with the PTO running at 1,000 RPM. The gearbox does not have a gear change, but is approved for all PTO speeds. As with the solo machines, the proven Lion technology with integrated time carrier and welded-in central brace ensures maximum reliability. The Lion 503C is directly coupled to the chassis frame and is depth-guided by parallelogram linkage attached to the grooved tyre packer. The central chassis cylinders provide the power harrow with a ground clearance of 27 centimetres at the headland. In the working position, the Lion 503C has a float setting. The chassis cylinders are equipped with a floating piston, which means that the work position can be adjusted hydraulically while driving a standard. A digital display of the set working depth in centimetres on the control terminal ensures maximum operating convenience. The machine has a fixed lowering sequence in which the power harrow is always activated first and the coulter rail follows shortly after. Because the hydraulic system is linked to the coulter rail, the power harrow can only be operated solo to a limited extent. The lowest working position is not reached when the coulter rail is fully raised. The optional rear levelling board is located directly behind the rotor beam and is guided with it. Levelling board adjustment is conveniently accessible from the side by means of a cam linkage with several setting positions. A front levelling board or up to three track eradicators with overload protection per tractor track can also be fitted. The pressurised hopper has a volume of 2,800 litres and is divided longitudinally. It is perfectly accessible from the side, sits in front of the power harrow and features a single shoot system with dual metering units. With a hopper ratio of 50-50, the folding service platform, a low filling height and a large filling opening, the seed hopper can be conveniently filled from the side using either a front loader bucket or big bags. The pressurised hopper system, with pressure monitoring as standard, allows you to mix a variety of seed types and sow at higher seed rates over a longer conveying distance. Level sensors are installed as standard to display the current level in centimetres on the control terminal. Interior hopper lighting and hopper grids are also part of the standard equipment. Two LED floodlights are also available as an option at the rear of the seed hopper to provide optimal illumination of the coulter rail. The fan is integrated into the front wall of the hopper. Air is drawn in from the dust-free area so there is no contamination of the system. There is additional storage space for two metering wheels inside the cover. The two metering units with electric drive are standard and are easily accessible from the left and right side of the machine. A total of nine different metering wheels are available for application rates of 1.5 to 360 kilograms per hectare at a driving speed of 12 kilometers per hour. At a driving speed of 8 kph, up to 500 kilograms per hectare can be applied. 
thanks to good accessibility, a high ground clearance and a separate calibration button for each metering unit, the calibration test is easy to carry out. The standard toolbox provides sufficient storage space for the calibration bag, spring balance weighing scales and additional metering wheels. Using shut-off plates, it is also possible to change the metering wheels when the seat hopper is full. Emptying leftover seed on the Aeros MVT is done in a practical way using an emptying nozzle above the metering unit on either side of the hopper. Due to the good accessibility, containers can be easily placed underneath. The machine is controlled by ISOBUS as standard. The speed signal can be read from the tractor via ISOBUS or the signal socket. A radar sensor, which is installed in front of the power harrow, is available as an option. The pre-metering signal for the metering units is provided by a sensor on the coulter rail or by section control. A large grooved tyre packer has been integrated for optimum smooth running of the machine to conserve the soil during sowing, and this also serves as the transport chassis. The pneumatic tyres with a diameter of 800mm consolidate the four seed slots per packer wheel. For optimum pre-consolidation of the seed slots, a tyre pressure of 2.7 bar is recommended. During operation, the entire width of the packer is in contact with the ground, even at the headland, for minimum soil compaction. The three-section packer is also the central element for ground tracking. The power harrow, which is in a floating position, tracks the ground steered by a linkage connected to the packer. Ground tracking transverse to the direction of travel is achieved by the pre-tension folding cylinders on the power harrow. Each section can deflect upwards by up to 20 centimeters. Downwards, there is no freedom of movement. In order to counteract jolting of the machine while drilling, in addition to the pneumatic tires, there is also hydraulic damping integrated into the parallelogram linkage to the power harrow. The flow of seeds from both metering units are combined upstream of the distributor head. Due to an identical layout of the seed tubes, uniform mixing of the two components takes place. The proven distributor head is responsible for perfect distribution across the full working width of the seed drill. Depending on requirements, this can be equipped with up to six controlled outlets per tramline track. For drilling independently of the seed drill width, a fully equipped IDS distributor head is available as an option. In addition, seed flow monitoring with one optical sensor in each row is offered for maximum reliability. The machine can be operated using any ISOBUS capable control terminal. Pertinger also offers the Power Control, Expert 75 and CCI 1200 control terminals. Section control and rate control applications can be performed by any ISOBUS capable terminal with Task Controller. This enables the simultaneous application of two components using two different application maps and switches off the entire machine width. Automatic half-width switching is possible with the CCI 1200 200 terminal and since autumn 2022 with third-party terminals. The new trailed power harrow and seed drill combination is in a class of its own when it comes to maneuverability. A mounting yoke with pivot point set further back gives a turning angle of up to 90 degrees. Attachment is with CAT3 with 3 to the lower linkage. The laterally raised lower link position provides sufficient space for the wide-angle PTO shaft, even with the tightest turning angle. The axis of the PTO shaft is located behind the axis of the mounting yoke, which allows the PTO shaft to gradually follow the turn. In addition to a wide parking stand, there is a storage holder for the PTO shaft and a hose storage for the color-coded hydraulic hoses. The perfect seed placement, our proven dual-disc coulter rail follows to the rear, suspended on the parallelogram linkage. With a coulter offset of 30 centimeters, a row spacing of 12.5 centimeters, and a disc diameter of 350 millimeters, reliable clearance and an optimum plant distribution density are assured. Equal length coulter arms ensure an identical coulter pressure of up to 60 kilograms. Large press wheels with a diameter of 330 millimeters ensure perfect depth control. 
As an option, these can be equipped with press wheel scrapers and a leveling tie. The three-section coulter rail is controlled by four coulter rail cylinders and achieves a ground clearance of 27 centimeters when fully raised. In addition to raising and lowering the seed bar, the coulter rail cylinders are also responsible for coulter pressure and seed placement depth. The placement depth is adjusted by a cylinder bracket, which limits the travel of the cylinder. The adjustment is made using a 10-hole matrix that is conveniently accessible from the rear. Changing the placement depth is only possible when the coulter pressure is not active. The coulter pressure is applied by the coulter rail cylinder. This is coupled to the fan drive and uses part of the oil pressure from the fan unit. The standard setup involves setting the fan speed approximately 300 rpm above the set point with the tractor spool valve. Use the knurled screw on the flow control valve to correct the fan speed to the set point. The additional oil flow rate for the 300 rpm for the fan is now used for the coulter pressure. The coulter pressure can now be adjusted as required using the pressure limiting valve and is displayed on the pressure gauge on the right side of the machine. The maximum pressure is approximately 55 bar, which corresponds to a coulter pressure of 60 kilograms. For the coulter rail cylinders to build up coulter pressure, the spool valve must be switched to pressure-free return after lowering the coulter rail. Coupling the coulter pressure with the fan unit means that there is automatic relief of the coulter pressure when the fan unit is switched off and there is no change in coulter pressure on bumpy terrain, since the excess oil escapes through the return line. Bout markers are available as an option. These are attached to the packer frame and fold back 90 degrees to the rear. In addition to the pre-emergence markers, which are controlled by the tramline rhythm and the chassis, the Tego Sem 200 is also available. This is located on the coulter rail and can apply a third seed component to the soil surface in front of the coulter rail. All hydraulic functions on the Eris MVT are directly controlled by spool valves. The following are required. One single acting for the fan unit and the coulter pressure, plus pressureless return BG4. One double acting for raising and lowering the power harrow and the coulter rail one double acting for adjusting the working depth of the power harrow, one double acting for folding and for pre-selecting optional belt markers. Because the coulter pressure is linked to the coulter rail cylinder, it is recommended connecting up both the control terminal as well as the pressure-free return for any machine operation in order to avoid excess pressure in the system. During road transport, the whole packer middle section runs with six packer wheels on the road. A maximum of three wheels are mounted on one shaft to keep shear forces as low as possible. The two outer and inner wheels can be optionally equipped with a dual line air brake system. The Power Harrow's outside width of 2.55 meters provides a good view of the three meter wide packer during road transport. Compact and manoeuvrable, thanks to the axis point set far to the rear. Flexible operation, thanks to the pressurized hopper system with single chute. Designed to handle the harshest conditions, with the Lion 503C power harrow with straight drive line. Conserves the soil and is still highly manoeuvrable, thanks to the large grooved tire packer. And we deliver perfect seed placement, thanks to the dual disc coulter system. I wish you much success with your new Aerosem VT5000. More success with Pertinger.